What's up guys, this is Ray and welcome to Agent Filmist and we're here with this month's Patreon sponsored movie review. And the movie we'll be talking about today is the 2018 Japanese film Masquerade Hotel. Masquerade Hotel is directed by Suzuki Masayuki, the director of the hit TV drama Hero. And this movie stars Kimura Takia, who is also the star of that drama, and also Nagasawa Masami. And this story is an adaptation of a novel originally written by Higashi no Keigo, who is the author of numerous novels which have been adapted to successful live-action adaptations. So the story of Masquerade Hotel, it's about these cops who are on the trail of this serial killer, who they predict will strike next at this very fancy hotel by the name of Hotel Cortesia Tokyo. And as I said, this hotel is a fancy hotel serving a numerous variety of guests. So the hotel staff and the police force uh, agree to work cooperatively and they allow the police to work undercover at this hotel. And so they get to work undercover by disguising themselves as hotel staff. And so we have Nita, who's played by Kimura Takia. And he is this kind of rough, foul-mouthed detective. And he gets uh, put at the front desk under the charge of Yamagishi, who's played by Nagasawa Masami. And she's kind of meticulous in the way she takes care of her customers. Or I'm sorry, guests. She always makes it a point that these guys aren't customers, that, but they're guests. It, it, it's kind of reflective on, on the way that she approaches her customer service. Anyway, these two and their contrasting personalities clash as everyone works together to try to find the serial killer. So I gotta say, the one thing that attracted me the most before watching this movie in the cinemas is that, you know, it just seemed like a, a fun movie overall. Just checking out the trailer had a lot of big names. Aside from Kimura Takuya and Nagasawa Masami, you get a whole bunch of appearances from, from even Koinata Fumio and a bunch of other names who make not even uh, supporting uh, supporting appearances, but just cameos. They just pop in and out of the story. So needless to say, this is a uh, movie featuring a big ensemble cast. And you know, I'm kind of iffy when uh, when watching these movies in the first place because they tend to be just overcrowded, and you know. It, you know the characters get half developed and you, it, it just gets messy along the way so i had my hesitations before watching this movie in the theaters but you know it just seemed too fun to pass over so as far as the positives go in masquerade hotel well first of all the performances i think everyone was entertaining and there's like i said there's so many big names that pop in and out and everyone whenever they're on screen they delivered an entertaining performance i mean i couldn't ask anything more from all the names featured in this movie Everyone was just fun and entertaining to watch. And I think uh, the most entertaining folks are definitely the two leads, Kimura and Nagasawa. The, the, their chemistry was just fun to watch. They, had, they both had chemistry in spades, the way they just bounced back and forth off of each other. And it just felt like a good old-fashioned buddy cop comedies but, but you know this isn't a, a buddy cop per se because only one of them is a cop Kimura Nagasawa is uh, is the she plays the hotel staff as I mentioned earlier in the synopsis and in this pairing kind of Nagasawa is a straight man while Kimura is kind of the, the one that's off the rails and when I say off the rails I mean that you know he's Although kind of a bit cliche, we've seen this type in pretty much all buddy cop type of movies. Like he's the rebellious hothead who just seems like a child at first. And you compare him with the straight man of this duo, uh, Nagasawa's character, and she is 100% polite. She's meticulous and well-mannered in, in every single action that she does. And as good buddy cop stories go, they're both very stubborn in their respective ways. But of course they come to grow and come to acknowledge the other's skills and, uh, and and also their professions. Like Nita, even though he's stubborn and a hothead and rebellious, he shows that he has amazing intuition when he come when it comes to uh, recognizing the type of people, the type of characters people are, because of his uh, his extensive experience as a detective. And then you have Yamagishi, who you know shows that she has a lot of heart in the way she takes care of customers and how she just puts all of her effort out there to make sure her uh, her guests have a good time at her hotel. And I think the way that these two come and grow together as a pair, as a, as a team, you know, it was believable, I think. I think it felt very organic and it, nothing felt very forced in it. And you get a lot of fun instances where, you know, Nita, he's undercover as a hotel staff. And so he has to put on the suit, he has to, he has to get rid of his, his kind of rough clothes that he usually wears as a detective. He has to blend in with the hotel staff. So, you know, you get some fun instances where he's just uncomfortable. He's noticeably uncomfortable trying to blend in 
with the, with these clothes and also getting a new haircut. You see the haircut if you check out the trailer, but just the just the the, the build up leading up to the haircut was just funny. But not only that, just watching Nita try to mimic all the mannerisms, seeing him stumble along the way, and you know getting taught by Yamagishi, no, you gotta do it this way, you gotta do it this way, and see him just grow grow that so that way he learns to almost become like a true hotel staff. So many moments like that it just make you giggle. I also dig the camera work in the story. I felt the camera work was very dynamic and very energetic. Although at times it merely could have been too much. Like I mean when you're watching in a big screen and there's a lot of fast pans that goes from one side of the stage to the other. It can be a bit dizzying but I still think you know I still appreciate the kind of energy that they try to uh, they try to emulate with the camera work. And when it came to the action in this movie there was definitely a good amount of action to be featured in this film. And you know it's not as high octane as you know take uh, as your typical you know blockbuster action movie but it was definitely dynamic when it needs to be and it had you glued to your seat because you know just the way uh, everything played out I thought it was enough to keep you to grab and keep your attention I also enjoyed the music it kept the atmosphere of the hotel quite fancy and you know and also it kept the story fun and and made it full of intrigue as far as the negatives have to say about masquerade hotel well you know it's supposed to be this murder mystery crime story you know and as a murder mystery it was only okay and i say it was only okay because you know it does what this movie does what many uh what many ensemble cast movies do and that is have a whole bunch of supporting characters be the focus of kind of mini episodes, mini story arcs contained in this two hour experience. And whenever a movie does this thing, like just feature different story arcs featuring just minor characters for just, um, you know, 20 minutes at a time. You know, this format honestly works better as a TV drama. It doesn't, you know, it works sometimes. In, in a movie format, but definitely works much better in a TV drama because you can feel the, the, like the episodic feeling of these story arcs feel more organic uh, in the in the format of a TV drama. But in a, in a movie, you know, you you have to kind of take the time to get to know every character that they put in front of you, and you, you, there's not that much time to appreciate all these characters when they're only in in the story for about 20 minutes at a time. And what this movie does is that because it focuses a lot on these individual characters uh, or and their respective story arcs, while there's this greater mystery going on, it kind of distracts you from that greater mystery. And the reason why the characters get distracted is because, you know, uh, Nita and Yamagishi, they take a look at different people who occupy the hotel and, you know, they have their own suspicions about, oh, maybe he's the culprit and then they follow them, or maybe she's the culprit and then they follow her and it goes into all these different side stories. But I have to admit, even though the story is kind of de distracted a little bit from the greater mystery, they were still enjoyable in their own right. And the last negative, and now I'm going to try to keep this part as spoiler free as I can, but when they eventually reveal who the serial killer is, I don't know, I feel like there wasn't the uh, the right kind of build up for the final reveal. I mean, you get hints between each mini episode as to you know the background of the crime or what poss what could have possibly happened. But I feel like when they ultimately revealed uh, the culprit and their agenda and their plot, their 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 scheme, uh, it just kind of felt abrupt. Like it just not really came out of nowhere, but just the way it was uh, it was introduced into the story. Yeah, it definitely felt just abrupt. But overall, what do I have to say about Masquerade Hotel? Well, you know, it's an entertaining story. It's a story uh, where, where the heart of it comes from not only the two leads and their two different personalities, but also their two different professions. Like metaphorically speaking, this kind of ties in with the name of this movie, Masquerade Hotel. And you know, uh, hotel staff, they uh, they provide, they, more metaphorically speaking, they provide masks for their guests to wear uh, when they enter their hotel and then they do they work hard to try to help the guests keep that mask as they let help them enjoy their stay at the hotel then you have the police force the detectives where they're trying everything they can to pry pry off that mask and find out what's inside and this contrast like I keep mentioning uh, makes for a great fun buddy cop movie and, you know you get your hot-headed detective and your cool and calm straight man or straight woman in this case and it's fun seeing these two representatives of these two professions just butt heads constantly you know and, and like I said their chemistry really tape really makes it uh, it just felt it, just, it was just a lot of fun from beginning to end and on top of everything you have excellent music you have excellent stage and stage design and costume design I think everything just looked beautiful 
uh, everyone was dressed beautiful and they kept it all they kept it consistent all the way through and of course if you ever stayed at a nice hotel in Japan I think you would be entertained with just how close Yamagishi is to actual hotel staff in the way that uh, at least in Japan and how they work hard to make sure you're having a good time to make sure all your needs are taken care of she's not that far from how actual hotel staff are so yeah it's definitely fun to watch and I definitely recommend checking it out if you ever have the chance and yes those are my thoughts on masquerade hotel what did you guys think please let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and if you really dig my content please know you can support age famous via patreon from as little as one dollar the same as how my patrons were able to help me check out this movie in the cinema thanks to their contributions and that's about it for me guys thank you so much for your support and as always thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you all again in the next video take it easy Thank you.